<clears throat> I will talk about uh, the equation of state of strong interacting matter, uh, coagulon plasma or hydronic gas, and uh, multiple particle production in heavy ion collisions. The outline of my talk is as follows. I begin with a brief sketch of the uh, process of the formation of coagulon plasma. And then I consider the quantities that are of experimental and theoretical interest. These are probability distributions in baryon of the net baryon number of produced particles, uh, the uh, momenta, cumulants, and other characteristics of uh, these probability distributions, and the relation uh, of these distributions to the equation of state. The equation of state is the dependence of pressure on the baryon density. And this uh, equation uh, involves information on the phase of strong interacting matter. And equation of states can indicate whether transition from one phase to another occurs. And Another indication on on the transition between on the transition between oh, on the transition between the phases can be extracted from asymptotic behavior of the probabilities that the system has net baryon number n. Uh, our research with Vladimir Goy uh, was based on lattice simulation, uh, baryon number density was evaluated on a lattice at various temperatures and imaginary chemical potentials, and uh, we reconstructed the equation of state from this data and then evaluated probability distributions. Bird's eye view of heavy nuclear collisions is depicted here. The nuclei, which is contracted in length, uh, come close to each other, then they form something like a pancake of, and this is very thin pancake at LHC energies. Then the fireball is formed and then it expands. Uh, colliding lead nuclei have thickness of one over 200 Fermi at the energies of the order of five TeV. After they pass through each other, glasma stage uh, appears. That is, between this uh, nuclei, some unstable gluon fields are formed, and part of the, their energy is Uh, remains uh, in between. Then thermalization occurs and uh, fireball is formed and uh, the stage of quark gluon plasma begins. And it uh, proceeds until chemical and thermal freezeouts when the quark gluon plasma uh, uh, is 
transforms into hadrons. The word plasma is uh, is formed from, from two words, words glass uh, from the co color glass condensate concept by Larry McLaren and the Nuga Polan and uh, plasma. Plasma stage pr uh, is pr precedes the formation of coagulon plasma and uh, time scales and energy scales are depicted on this diagram. Energy density is not so great. If we simply compute the energy density, which is deposited in a pancake at the first moment of a heavy nuclear collision, then we obtain a value several orders of magnitude greater than the value shown here. However, in view of quantum mechanical uncertainty, hadronization processes, uh, that is not quarks and gluons, but only hadrons are observable and other speculations, uh, the general, the generally accepted opinion is that the energy does not exceed some tens of GeV per Fermi cube cubed. The state of plasma is shown in green and the thermalization occurs at a scale less than one Fermi and from one to say 10 Fermi, the uh, fireball evolution takes place. It should be emphasized that widely known picture of heavy nuclear collisions is uh, incorrect. The first uh, drawback of this picture is that uh, Lorentz contraction of colliding nuclei is not shown. And the other drawback are the gaps between a uh, remnant of colliding nucleus and the fireball. In principle, Experimental data don't show uh, the presence of such gaps. Uh, more adequate picture is shown on the right where the remnants and uh, reduced particles are in a contact with each other. This follows from the distributions of charged particles of rapidity. We see that the rapidity has a plateau and there is no well-defined well uh, gaps between the remnants of hadrons and uh, the produced uh, quark gluon Phase. And we, we see a plateau in Alice experiment. However, there is no abrupt decrease. There is no steep decrease of uh, the number of charged particles produced in collisions with rapidity. However, a completely different situation occurs when we consider the 
net baryon number produced in nuclear collisions. Here we see that at low energies, uh, the distribution in net baryon number resembles that of the resembles the, 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 distribu the distributions of produced charged particles. However, as the energy of colliding nuclei increases, uh, the distributions in net baryon number, distrib uh, the distributions in net baryon number become more and more wide and uh, a minimum at zero rapidity emerges. We see here energies below 200 GeV. At larger energy, at greater energies, at higher energies, this trend continues. And uh, at the energy of LHC, some three or five TV, we see that there are no net baryon number produced. There is no net baryon number produced in the central region. region. Uh, in 2013, uh, Alice results was published that chemi chemical potential of uh, quark gluon plasma uh, in central region of collision equals zero. That is, the space like spatial picture of collisions is, is as follows. Uh, at low energies, uh, the net baryon number produced everywhere where charged particles are produced. This region is shown in yellow. At higher energies, net baryon number produced uh, only possibly produced only in the domains close to uh, remnants of colliding nuclei. In the central domain, average value, average baryon number equals zero, the number of nucleons is approximately equal equals the number of antinucleons. Therewith, we can observe fluctuations of the net baryon number even in central domain. And these fluctuations are of primary interest in my work. Net baryon number is the difference between the number of baryons and number of antibaryons. Number of baryons is the total number of all sorts of baryons. And it is generally accepted that the proton number is 0 0.4 of the total baryon number. And uh, assuming this statement, we can uh, extract net baryon number and uh, it, its distribu and, and the di distribution of fireballs in the net baryon number using the data only net proton number only. We also consider probability that the net baryon charge of the fireball at a given value of the chem baryon chemical potential takes a definite value. Uh, there is of interest also the, the probability that the net baryon charge of a, of a fireball at zero baryon density equals n. Uh, this uh, uh, quantity is 
measured at the LHC, and these quantities were measured at lower energies. And uh, we are interested not only in uh, these di distributions, but consider the mom moments of this distribution. And it, it should be emphasized that the probability that the net baryon charge of coagulon matter at zero chemical potential is related to canonical partition function. And the uh, normalization fun factor uh, is the grand canonical partition fun function at zero value of the baryon chemical potential. The, these probabilities can be determined from either experimental data or from lattice simulations uh, or from different models. We will consider three models, the Hadron resonance gas model, the cluster expansion model based on uh, the assumption that the Hadron have a finite uh, size and occupy some space. Uh, taking this uh, fact into account leads to a specific model of uh, variable dynamics. And the number of you know, Lazinio model, which was uh, used at low temperatures. The grand canonical partition function is can be represented as the sum over uh, all physical states. Uh, here, H is the Hamiltonian, and B is the baryon number. Mu is the baryon chemical potential, and T is temperature. This grand canonical partition function can be expressed in terms of pressure, volume, and temperature. And it can be expanded uh, uh, in terms of uh, the so-called fugacity expansion in, uh, and the coefficients of this expansion are canonical partition functions, which are sums over states with a definite baryon, with a fixed baryon number. The inverse transform uh, can be used to express the canonical potential function in terms of grand canonical potential function. And the grand canonical partition function can be extracted from pressure, and pressure can be determined uh, provided that we evaluated the baryon number density. We consider these quantities at complex values of chemical potential. And, uh, if both pressure and density are known, we can uh, express pressure in terms of density and obtain the equation of states. It, and it is important to emphasize that the equation of states is connected with the distribution of uh, produced fireballs in the net baryon number. In lattice QCD at uh, zero baryon number density, the grand canonical uh, uh, partition function can be evaluated on a, on a lattice, and we uh, we evaluate this quantity at uh, imaginary val values of chemical potential, and uh, reconstruct the grand canonical partition function at the imaginary uh, values of chemical potential. And then we perform uh, analytical continuation. To perform analytical, uh, analytical continuation, we use the Roberge Wise approach, uh, which states, which is based on the, uh, on the results that the grand canonical partition function at uh, imaginary uh, values of chemical potential is periodic with uh, the period of 
2 pi over number of colors. And uh, it is uh, continuous and analytic at uh, temperatures below critical, and uh, it is uh, discontinuous at temperatures greater than the so-called Arberge Weiss temperature. And it is not analytic, maybe non-analytic, or uh, however it is continuous and uh, smooth to some order of derivatives, uh, not uh, yet well established in between uh, critical and Traberge Weiss temperatures. The results of uh, lattice simulation in the general case can be parameterized as a polynomial uh, at high temperatures and by uh, uh, trigonometric series at low temperatures. In our case, in the case under study, we used two temperatures, which is one greater than, uh, higher than the Roberge Weiss te temperature and uh, the other below the critical temperatures. In the former case, we parameterize the quark density by a simple poly polynomial. And uh, in the latter case, we used uh, fit with only one parameter. Uh, the equations of state obtained in this case are given by these formulas. They are very simple. And they are plotted uh, here. Saturation density is related to nuclear matter theory. And uh, we took the data for the pressure at zero value of chemical potential from hot QCD calibration. At higher, temper uh, at higher temperatures and at lower temperatures, the pre pressure in increases. Uh, however, uh, analytical uh, form of uh, this uh, rise uh, differs at higher and uh, lower temperatures. If we consider yet another one term of expansion in power series and in trigonometric series, uh, we arrive at uh, different uh, equations of state. Thus, we used parameterization of uh, imaginary uh, baryon number density by two terms and arrived at the following result. When the sign of the second term uh, is greater is positive, then uh, pressure deflects upwards and in the, in the opposite case, it deflects downwards. In principle, one can, can arrive at the situation when the equation of states resembles that of the Van der Waals model. However, in this way, we cannot uh, we cannot obtain precisely this picture because the region between points C and D is unphysical, and uh, uh, consideration based on chemical potential uh, automatically produce only physical only the results with physical sense. sense. That is, we can obtain only this part of the fi figure. And uh, we consider the equations of state in two models. In the 
cluster expansion models, which works between critical and Traberge wise temperatures uh, in a simplified version of the cluster expansion model, quark density can be produced, can be expressed uh, by the series in hyperbolic functions. And the prediction of the number Yonalazinio model at low temperatures can be parameterized by a similar uh, series. However, with a different sign of trigonometric series of the coefficient of, of, of the coefficient Q. Either terms in the cluster expansion model and Tambuyon-Lazinio model at low uh, densities are shown here. Analytical form is simple to obtain. And here I show uh, dimensionless pressure versus uh, dimensionless uh, baryon density. On a larger scale, the cluster expansion model curves deflects upwards and after some value, it becomes unphysical. That is at a higher chemical potential, no physical result can be produced. This sets some limitations on applicability of the cluster expansion model. And uh, now I will show the result in the number Yonalazinio model. Here, the chemical potential can be, uh, is bounded from above by this value. And as uh, the chemical potential comes to this value from below, uh, pressure and uh, both pressure and uh, the density uh, tend to infinity, and this relation between them is uh, established. This curve uh, shows asymptotic behavior of the isotherm in the number Yonalazinio model. It uh, does not produce uh, it does not produce uh, the behavior shown here with possible discontinuity in the baryon number density at, at, at the phase transition. The phase transition is expected to occur in various chiral models. This is the first order phase transition shown by this curve. Uh, and we consider it uh, this line and maybe some this line fixed temperature and varying chemical potential. In addition to the net baryon number probability distribution and its momenta, primary attention is also focused on the momenta and cumulants of this dis distribution. These uh, quantities can be used to uh, find the connection between uh, uh, pressure and uh, net baryon number probability distribution. To be more precise, uh, the net baryon number probability distributions can be expressed of the grand canonical partition function and the uh, moments generating function function is also expressed in terms of uh, this quantity uh, gothic letters indicate uh, the 
the respective quantities related to zero chemical potential. And we see that the cumulant, cumulant generated function at zero chemical potential uh, is simply related to pressure. For this reason, given pressure, we can uh, find distributions in uh, net baryon number, at least in principle. And uh, these quantities, that is probabilities, that uh, the fireball has net baryon charge N can be used to measure, in principle, the baryon chemical potential, which is given by this formula in red. In red. It is very difficult, however, to measure these probabilities both at positive and negative values of net baryon number, uh, provided that uh, the chemical potential, potential is uh, great, is at low energies. However, at high energies, it can be measured. And uh, these measurements, if, if they were performed, uh, can be used as a criterion of th thermodynamical equilibrium. It, uh, the chemical potential evaluated at, from different ratios from uh, net baryon number should coincide. Uh, and the probabilities uh, that describe fluctuations of net baryon charge of the, of the fireball at uh, uh, zero baryon chemical potential, and uh, which is approached at high energies, and practically they approach the LHC energies, uh, are related to the coefficients of the expansion of pressure in terms of chemical potential. Experimental uh, information is usually represented in terms of cumulants. And uh, one can use cumulants at zero chemical potential instead of uh, probability distribution. However, the problem arises, the problem emerges how to find the probability distribution given the cumulants. At the temperatures greater than the Rabergi Weiss temperature, the probability distributions up to, uh, uh, reconstructed from the cumulants have the following uh, dependence of the net baryon number. It is Gaussian distributions at small baryon number. However, at large baryon numbers, it becomes non-Gaussian. And uh, these uh, distributions involve information on uh, equation of state of uh, uh, free fermion gas. Five, not five minutes. Mm -hmm. At low temperature, we arrived at excellent agreement with the Hadron resonance gas model. Uh, the probability distributions is, can be expressed in terms of infield functions, and the coefficient, the, par the parameter used here is the average number of, uh, of baryons in, a, in the fireball. Uh, Hadron resonance gas model is, has, has excellent agreement with the experiment. And uh, here I uh, remember uh, the situation which we should to study. 
There are two scenarios of thermalization of fireball. The fireball after formation at early stage can be isolated from the remnants of colliding nuclei and evolutions proceeds with the grand canonical partition functions. However, another scenario is based on the assumption that the exchange of conserved charges proceeds during the fireball expansion and uh, only canonical partition functions should be used because uh, baryon number is not conserved. Uh, the, there, there is exchange of baryon number. Experimental data prefer the latter scenario because, because uh, uh, the fourth and the second cumulants are approximately equal to each other in agreement with the Hadron resonance gas model and uh, in agreement with the predictions at low temperatures. That is, after uh, cooling, the fireball uh, produces baryon number. Whereas the gas of massless fermions, which is uh, uh, does not predict uh, required ratio of cumulants, however, this result uh, is in visible uh, contradiction with the Alice, res Alice result that the chemical potential at uh, high energies uh, equals zero. This result indicates to the former scenario. In any case, this paradox should be studied in more detail and some uh, physical models and some physical assumptions are needed. We don't, we don't understand something. Here I show the uh, uh, here I compare the results produced in cluster expansion model and in number unilazinio model. We see that the uh, probability uh, decreases much slower at low temperatures that, than at high temperatures. And a slow decrease of the probabilities can give rise to indication to, on, to, to an indication of the phase transition. Because a very slow decrease of probabilities uh, can lead to the situation when uh, the probabilities cannot be reconstructed from cumulants unambig unambiguously. And uh, this situation uh, can be, can produce some unphysical behavior of the equation of state. Thus, to conclude, I remember that the following statements. That the net baryon number probability distributions can be evaluated on a lattice, both at high temperature and uh, at temperatures of order of critical, uh, however, below critical temperatures. Uh, the probabilities can, in principle, be reconstructed either from the cumulants of the net baryon number probability distributions or from the equation of state of strong inter interacting matter. The relations between uh, the equation of states and the, the net baryon number pro probability distributions can shade a new light on fireball, fireball evolution. The dependence of the equation of state on temperature and feed parameters has been used to formulate a possible scenario of, of, of emergence of the Van der Waals isotherms corresponding to the first order chiral phase transition. Thank you for. Thank you very much for the interesting talk. And please, uh, question first from Zoom. Oh, Vladimir. 
Okay, please, your question. Uh, uh, Roma, uh, uh, I will not uh, say much because it is for the discussion session, but the, the simple question maybe is uh, how the temperature is defined. So if you observe some nucleus, nucleus collision and its products, how can you judge about at what temperature this uh, event happens? Uh, temperature is defined by distributions of uh, produced particles in transverse momentum. That is the main, uh, the main source of information of temperature. Yet another source of, source of information are the ratios of yields of different species of particles. There are there are a very large number. There is a very large number of uh, these ratios between yields of different species of particles. Say ratio of uh, anti helium nuclei produced to uh, uh, protons produced in the collisions and so on. May I say that uh, uh, in some very rough uh, meaning, uh, the higher the collision energy is, the higher is the temperature of your compound state. Uh, temperature at the LHC energies, uh, beginning temperature at the moment of thermalization, is uh, evaluated at 300 MeV. And critical temperature is 150 MeV. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More questions or maybe comments from audience? If not, let us thank you, the speaker, again. And I invite you the next speaker, Mikhail Sinoyenko, please. Hello. Here is Mikhail Sergeyenko. Can you hear me? Mikhail. Yes, I am here. But let me check my screen if, if, if yes, it's working. Yeah, of course. 